Okay, multiple intelligence event. Here is your assignment. Like all the other assignments, it's under the assignments tab in Blackboard. And I have it pretty simple to be able to view your assignment of exactly what to do. Firstly, you had viewed the lesson video in PowerPoint on multiple intelligence. And then now you need to open internet or explore or Netscape. I use Chrome, so it worked well for me on Chrome and that's what you might want to do as far as your browser. And then you're going, you could just copy, you know, click on this link and it should open right up for you. And what you're going to do, and I'll move this over here for you, is you will see the assessment. And just follow this, it's rather simple. It's just click on one of these, just whichever it fits, one through five. And then five, it describes you perfectly. I pride myself on having large vocabulary. If that is, does that sound you like you, then click on five. If it doesn't sound like you at all, click on one. So what you'll do is go through these and don't ponder. Don't ponder, you know, think about them, be thoughtful, but don't ponder and go, well, is that me or not? Go with what that first instinct is or what your gut feeling is. And then do all of these, I think there's 56 of them, and then you click on Find My Strengths, okay? Go through here, it would be great to save these to your computer, you don't need to print them out, but save this information, especially the Find My Strengths, and then there's a section in here that will take, and I'm, I'm not gonna do that now because I didn't take the test all the way, but what you'll find, is another section is how to enhance or how to improve what what kind of ideas or practices can you do to strengthen your other multiple intelligence but it's going to rank you as five being highest and you'll see what your top three or four multiple intelligences are out of the nine okay but do this for me and then when you're done you'll come back to your your assignment page you've taken a test and then you looked at the practice section, just as I said, and then you're going to write 250 word, 200 word, 175. I'm not going to be that picky as long as it's holding the content that I want to read. But these four major subheadings. If you want to, break your paper into four subheadings or subparagraphs. Describe just what did the report tell you? What were your top three? What was your lowest one? What, you know, what are you smart in? Just, just the facts. And then analyze. What did the test say and the readings demonstrate or reveal to you? What did you find out? Okay, so describe is just the basic facts. Analyze, give it a little bit more thought and give some reflection about what you found out. And then plan, how can you use this information every day, right now, as a student, as a progressing professional developmental student into the teaching world, into the field of education. But most important, future impact. This one I like to, you know, this is what I'm really looking for, is the future impact. What have you learned that you will apply in your future as a classroom teacher, uh, that, that educator? How, did, what did you find out about yourself that could even help you work with your future students as you turned into turn into be an effective classroom teacher. Now, just as a little side note, you might want to think about, could this be something as a part of my vision statement? Hmm, let me think about that. And then submit everything into Blackboard. So you've got this all downloaded into your computer, so just submit it into your um, into the blackboard and if you want to, uh, what I would do is also include whatever you downloaded from the multiple intelligence test when you found your strengths and just include that as part of your submission page okay again if you have any questions or anything please feel free to contact me and enjoy finding about your strengths okay so talk to you soon on that